note. Do you ever wish you could fix that at home without calling a piano tuner to come in? And who wants a tuner in their house this time of the year with all that coronavirus? I'm gonna show you how to do it yourself. All you need is a piano tuning kit, something like this. And here I've got a piano tuning tool. This one has a nice long handle, so you've got lots of control. There are ones with short handles available as well. Uh, a few rubber wedges to help you figure out which note is wrong. This particular one has a tuning fork. I don't really use that a lot. Uh, and a, a felt piece for tuning, uh, for blocking a lot of strings at once. We only need two pieces, a piece of rubber and a wedge I'm, uh, and the tuning tool. I'm gonna show you how to do this. First, we have to take the music stand off. This particular piano, we just have to figure out where the slides are and it lifts right out. Here we've located the note and you see there are three strings and we have to trace those three strings back to the three tuning pegs. Those three pegs right there are the ones we're going to have to play with and see which uh, and tune. One of those three pegs is probably out. Very rarely two pegs will be out. All right, first I'm going to use my rubber mute to mute out the leftmost string. And so here's the with no mute. And here's what it sounds like when I mute the left string. It sounds perfectly in tune. So right away that tells you, tells you that the left string is the one out of tune. I could also mute out the right string. It still sounds bad. I can mute out the middle string, which is difficult. And it still sounds out of tune. The real bad one here is the left string. So I'm going to trace that left string. Put my tuning uh, implement right here. And I'm going to press this key multiple times while I very carefully tune it and you should hear it fall into place. Now one of my rules of thumb is only tune two strings at a time. The one that's out and the one that you know is good. So I'm actually going to block the right string off which I know is good and I know the middle string is good. So what I now I only have two strings to tune against. So here we go. I'm tightening it. I'm hearing it get a little bit better. If I go too far, it sounds off again. I gotta go down now. But I don't like to go down the tune because then there's extra slack in the, in the uh, region here that could push into the string and cause it to go out. So I like to go flat and then pull it up to where it should be. Slightly flat, more flat. Make it a little, try to get it right on now. Perfect. Now we pull the wedge out. We've got just about a perfectly in tune piano note. You can spot tune a piano like this, pick out the 10 worst notes, and it'll sound 95% as good as it should. Well, it's great when you have three strings to tune because you can take one out and figure out which one's wrong. What if you only have two strings? Uh, most of the bass strings have only two. So uh, let's show you how to do that if you've got a bad bass note. Turns out right here. Ooh, that don't sound good at all. But I have a good A in octave higher. However, I don't like to tune three strings against one string. So I'm going to block out two strings on my good A up here. So I'm only listening to one string. Down in the bass, I'm going to block out one of the strings and see if I can tell which one of these two strings is bad. That sounds really good. Now let's tr try to block the other string. I can hear a warble there. Wow, wow, wow. So I think this is the bad string. So now I pull this block out because I can only tune, I only have two strings. So I'm gonna tune the one that I know is bad now. I've got it on the right peg. You can hear it go into tune there. It's a little too high. Let's go flat again. Got it just about perfect there. All 
All right, what do you do about these hyph strings? Because these little tiny ones are out of tune a lot. This one's pretty good. That one's got something wrong. So we're going to do the usual trick. We're going to block one string off and see if that's the bad one. Okay, it's still, that was the left string, still sounds bad. There's the right string, it sounds perfect. That means the right string is out of tune. I'm going to go back and block the left string because I know that one's good and I don't want to tune two strings against one string. I always want one against one. So now I know it's the right string. I'm going to trace that down with, with my tool here, put it on the correct peg. And this is really hard. You turn it a tiny bit and it's way off. So this may take me a while. Oh, it went too high. I can tell. Go a little bit extra flat and then go back sharp, uh, back to where it should be. It's probably about as good as we can do. So this piano tuning kit I have, uh, you can't tune a piano without a kit or without some kind of a piano tuning tool. So you need to get one of these. Um, now I, I did get my set on Amazon um, and I've got links in the description below for uh, uh, these kind of products if you're interested in buying one. Uh, please go ahead and do that. I'm an Amazon associate so I earn a little bit from the sales and it doesn't cost you a cent extra. Uh, but you do need a tool and you do need some, some kind of uh, rubber wedges to stop some of the strings. And with just those tools alone, you can tune the piano 95% as good as it should be. Now, if you got a really bad piano, that's another case. You, you're going to have to do a lot of tuning, uh, and you're going to need to have some kind of a uh, tuner. So you could either use an electronic tuner that you buy off the internet. You can use apps on your phone. Uh, you can use even a, a pitchfork. Uh, this, this kit has a C pitchfork in it. So you just hit it on something, and you can hear uh, a C note and then tune the piano to that C. Make sure it's the, the, uh, the right pitch. So that's, uh, that's another way to do it. Uh, with, I always thought it was funny that violinists tune their instruments, cellists tune their instruments, flautists tune their instruments, guitarists tune their own instruments, but pianists rarely know how to tune a piano. And so I think it's a very valuable skill to learn and it's also not that hard. I had a really good friend who uh, wanted to play a jazz piano in a bar one night. I had one note that was out and it almost ruined his performance. Every time he hit that note, it sounded horrible. And if he just knew how to tune the piano, he could have fixed it like that and the whole performance would have sounded great. So this is what I want to show you how to do today. I think it's a really valuable skill and it's not that hard to learn how to do.